Well, hello there. You want to come to our home? <laughs> you want to come to our home? <laughs> okay, that's fine. But let me warn you, we only have plants. We don't have any furniture, but we do have plants. So come on. All right, so let's start with the dining room. Here we have this very large spathophyllum, spathophyllum piece lily. It's huge. It does really well in this room. Uh, it has a lot of new blooms. It's in a 12 inch pot, so it fits right there good in the corner. Very good. And it just is doing well. It's done extremely well since we got it. And I just love this plant. I mean, look at it. Look at all these new leaves. Here we have the Aglianema Red Siam. This plant is so pretty. I love the pink and green foliage. Uh, when the leaves are new, they come out bright pink, and then as they age, they kind of turn uh, red around the edges. So that's what I love about this plant. I actually got this plant at a grocery store, and it's done extremely well. I have not repotted it yet because it's doing just fine in this pot. So yeah, it's one of the Chinese evergreens. That's the red Siam. Here we have the Chinese evergreen silver bay. Uh, this one is a low light plant, but it's doing really well here. And I have had no trouble with it since I've had it in this location. It gets very good indirect light. It gets some rays of sunlight, but that's just fine. Here we have the Aglianema, another Aglianema. This one's the sparkling Sarah. And it's pretty similar to the red Siam uh, with the pink leaf, oh, sorry, with the pink stems. And it's got these pink veins in the leaves. Now I don't have any trouble with it anymore. It gave me a little bit of trouble when I first got it. Wasn't sure what was wrong with it, but went through a list of problem solving and now it's doing just fine. It is doing well. I think it's in a 10 inch container. So it does pretty good right there. Here we have this cast iron plant. Uh, what is the name of this plant? This one is the Espedistra elatior. Okay, so I'm just gonna call it the cast iron plant because that's what's easier to say. Here we have this pink bromeliad, the Bromeliaceae guzmania. Uh, that is a lower light plant and it's doing really good here. It gets a few streams of sunlight, but nothing too bright or too harsh on it. And I just love how these leaves look like ribbons and it's just a beautiful, beautiful plant. Here we have the Sansevieria trifasciata, AKA the snake plant. And this one is the black coral. That one was in too big of a pot when I got it. So I reduced it down to actually a six inch pot. It's either a six or an eight inch pot. I think it's in an eight inch pot. Yeah, that's the eight inch pot. It's doing really good. Um, I think it really likes being in that location. I think it was in like a 10 or 12 inch pot when I got it, but I was really shocked how big of a container it was in. Here we have the Sansevieria Moonshine. This one is one of my favorite, favorite plants. It's placed, it's put out some new rhizomes this year and it's done really well. I think it likes being in the South. When I was up North, it really did not do hardly anything. And so since we've been back South, it has exploded in growth, lots of bright new leaves, uh, two new rhizomes. It's just done extremely well. Here we have another Chinese evergreen. This one, I believe, is the tigress. Correct me if I'm wrong. It could be the Maria, but I think it's the tigress. That plant is doing really good here. It's also a lower light plant. Here we have the creeping fig. The creep fig. Okay. And here we have the ZZ plant. Zyomaculus zyfolia, zymifolia. Here is another peace lily. It had some bright uh, white leaves. I'm sorry, it had some flowers at first, but they died, and so there was some uh, dust left from the flowers on the plant. There's an aluminum plant. Here is a Diphombachia camille. Um, that is a propagation from a larger. Um, a larger dumb cane that I have in the other room and I will show you that one pretty soon. 
but yeah this plant almost died I thought it was dead and then it just spruced back to life and here we have all of these new leaves it was propagated maybe about two months ago I believe but it's done great and here is the Fetonia arganura aka the superba uh, that one is a low light plant and it does really well here this is a south facing room uh, this room gets a lot of good bright and direct light and the plants love it in here they're doing really well I have no issues with leaf burn with these low light plants being here no issues with leaf burn with this peace lily um, the streams of sunlight are pretty good they're not too harsh because there's two large trees on the other side of this window in the yard so they're doing just fine. Um, the sunlight is just good enough for what they need in here. So these plants are very happy in this room. And now we're going to transition over into the other room where all the other plants are. Here is a curly leaf ivy. This one is doing very well here. I have it here on this counter in the kitchen, uh, several feet back from a west facing window. It had a bout with spider mites, but I found them and treated it right away with a neem oil solution. And it's doing really well. Uh, I haven't had any uh, leaves that have actually died, so I acted pretty quickly there. Here we have the button fern. It's a really small plant. Um, very small. Uh, there is the Boston fern. Here is the Boston Fern. That one is another small plant, one of the small plants I did in a recent small plant haul. Here we have the Janet Craig Dracaena, another small plant from the small plant haul. It's down here at the bottom. Here is the Calathea White Fusion. Uh, it looks a little rough around the edges, not really sure why. It gets very good moisture, very good humidity exposure, and it's not directly in the sun. So it was a little rough around the edges when I got it, but I think it's doing pretty good now. It's place, it's putting out several new leaves, so I think it'll be okay. Here is the Tananthe Exotica. That one you may recognize from a previous video that I did a repot on recently. Here is the Ingrid Liz Ivy. That one is adorable. I just love it. This variegation. Here is another Diefenbachia Camille. This is the original one that I had. So it's very big now. Uh, it was propagated a few months ago. It was upgraded from a six inch pot to an eight inch pot. And it's, it just it exploded after that. So it's huge now. It's got a lot of new leaves, a lot of new stems. And it's very happy, very happy plant. Here we have the philodendron hastatum, aka the philodendron silver sword. This is one of the newer plants that I have. The smallest leaf on there is the newest leaf that has opened up. And I really think that it's going to open up another leaf soon. It's kind of creeping up there where that small leaf is. So I'm looking forward to some more growth on that plant. Here we have the Monstera Deliciosa. This plant is one of the favorites among the plant community. And it is doing very well here. It gets a lot of good light, a lot of good humidity. I keep the humidifier on pretty often. Here is the African mask plant. Uh, this one is really one of my favorites. I just love this one. Look at those leaves. That's stunning, right? One of my favorites. Here is the green maranta, the small green prayer plant. One of my favorites also. I just like that one. I like seeing small plants get big. And here is the Calathea stromanthi triostar, the big prayer plant that I have. This is one of my favorites. Look at these leaves. Isn't that stunning? Look at these white and green pink foliage. The underside of the leaves is so beautiful. Uh, that purple undertone. And here's another one that's similar like it. This is the Sanguia and it has that purple undertone underneath its leaves as well. I just love how these leaves look like 
these plants are so pretty. I can see why Calatheas are a favorite among houseplant owners. They're just so beautiful. Look at these leaves. They're just irresistible. So much to love about this plant. These types of plants. And let's go over to this White Birds of Paradise. I had it on a time lapse for this big new leaf right here. It just unfurled. Uh, this is right in the window. This is a west facing window. Here's a fiddle leaf fig, the ficus lorata. Huge. Took a while. Looked long and hard to find a big fiddle leaf fig because I wanted a big one to start out with. So I finally found this one. Had to have it and I got it. Now let me reach over and get this air plant. This is the Talansia capitata. It's one of the air plants. Um, it just needs a good window, some spritzing of water uh, once or twice a week, maybe once a week, and just, yeah, let it breathe. Here is the Diefenbachia tiki. This one is one of my favorites. I know I've said that like for five plants now, but really, I really do love this plant because the leaves, the white, bright foliage, it's like snow pepper leaves on there or snowflakes. Here is the frizzle sizzle. This one's like a desert plant. Uh, it was small. All the leaves were small and curled up. And since it's been here, it's just grown so much. The leaves are, uh, stems are spread out now. So they're not all condensed together like they used to be. Here is another Defenbachia Camille. This one is a small propagation from that one. And really, they were about the same size at one time, but I'm not really sure why that one exploded and that one decided to stay. Um, yeah, it is some kind of weird anomaly. It just happened to be that way. And here is this failed herb grow that did not happen. So this is organic parsley. It did not do well, and, and it, it is going to get thrown away. I, there's Goodbye. just nothing I can do with it. So I'm going to throw out Bye. all this dirty water because it's just not doing well. I've had it for like a month there now and it hasn't produced any roots. So it's gone. So these are all of the plants in this west facing room. The higher light plants, the plants that require more humidity are in here. Um, these are the, this is the south facing room. This is where we started the dining room. These are the low to medium light plants. And that is all of the plants. <laughs> I have another segment of this tour. I have a bathroom tour coming up and a tour for the outdoor plants. Well, it was a pleasure to have you come tour our lovely plants in our home. But unfortunately, it is time for you to go. But if you want to be subscribed, if you want to join our Green Mabel plant family and you would like to be notified of any new plant videos, home decor videos, we have some great new content coming. So be sure to subscribe and join our family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> we may not have furniture, <laughs> but we do have plants.